the mayor was slowly and steadily getting his dream city built. He had set up his own office, got a power plant made, which was supplying the entire city with electricity. He was a good mayor, you know. He wanted to travel around. He wanted to ensure if everything was functioning smoothly. But he was finding it very difficult to access various parts of the city because there were no roads. So he immediately ordered workers to build roads in the city. So now that roads were built in the city, there was better connectivity in the city and so the mayor's problem was solved. Similarly, plant and animal cells have a connecting organelle present inside their cell and if you notice carefully, you will see that this connecting organelle stretches right from the nuclear membrane to the cellular membrane. So this connecting organelle continues from the nuclear membrane to the cellular membrane. So what is the name of this connecting organelle? This connecting organelle is known as the endoplasmic reticulum. Endo means within, plasmic means cell fluid and reticulum means network. So endoplasmic reticulum is that organelle that is present in both plant and animal cells that form a network within the cell and it is embedded within the cell fluid or the cytoplasm. So just like the roads that were built in the city divided the city into various sectors, similarly the endoplasmic reticulum divides the cell into various compartments. So now roads were built in the city but other daily basic necessities were now required and for that factories had to be set up. So tell me something, if I were to ask you to build factories, where would you build them? Would you build them in some interior portion of the city where there are no roads or would you build them at the roadsides? Yes, you would definitely build them at the roadsides because now there is ease of transportation. So similarly, plant and animal cells have such factory-like structures that are attached on the endoplasmic reticulum that forms the road-like networks in the cell. So what are these bead-like structures? Well, these bead-like structures are known as ribosomes. Now ribosomes are protein factories. So protein factories will manufacture proteins. See how ribosomes are manufacturing proteins. So now that proteins are getting manufactured by the ribosomes, they are further transferred into the endoplasmic reticulum for transport within the cell. Now these bead-like ribosomes are attached to the portion of the endoplasmic reticulum towards the nucleus. See, they form bead-like structures towards the nucleus. If you zoom in on the structure, you will see that these bead-like ribosomes give the endoplasmic reticulum a very rough appearance and that is why they are known as the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So you see the bead-like structures or the ribosomes are attached on the endoplasmic reticulum. But what are these structures that are scattered in the cytoplasm? See, they are scattered in the cytoplasm. Even these structures even are bead-like and they are known as ribosomes. But they lie freely in the cytoplasm. So ribosomes can be bound to the endoplasmic reticulum or they can also stay scattered in the cytoplasm in both plant and animal cells. Now look at this picture carefully. What do you see? You see 
that the portion of the endoplasmic reticulum towards the nucleus is dotted with these bead-like ribosomes. But what about the portion of the endoplasmic reticulum away from the nucleus? Do they have the same appearance? Let us zoom in. Yes. See, the bead-like structures or the ribosomes are missing in this portion of the endoplasmic reticulum. Now, since they are absent, the endoplasmic reticulum have a very smooth appearance and that is why this portion of the endoplasmic reticulum is known as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, what can be the function of this smooth endoplasmic reticulum? For one, it forms a passage through which all molecules can pass through. Now, tell me, can the smooth endoplasmic reticulum be involved in uh, protein manufacture? No, it cannot be because the main organelles that are required for the manufacture of protein, that is, the ribosomes, are absent in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum cannot be involved in protein formation. So, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps the cell manufacture lipids. What are lipids? Lipids are a kind of fat. Now, try and recall what we discussed about the cell membrane. What was the cell membrane made of? The cell membrane was made up of a structure known as lipoproteins. Lipoproteins were made of lipids and proteins. So those lipids that were making the cell membrane are manufactured by this smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So what did we study today? We studied about the organelle known as the endoplasmic reticulum that forms a passage in the cell for the transport of all molecules. The portion of the endoplasmic reticulum towards the nucleus are dotted with these bead-like structures known as ribosomes. Since they have a very rough appearance, they are known as the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the portion of the endoplasmic reticulum away from the nucleus towards the cell membrane are devoid of these ribosomes and hence they have a smooth surface and they are known as smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And smooth endoplasmic reticulum is involved in lipid synthesis.